Hello, uh, welcome back. Let's go ahead and do a uh, trust analysis uh, using Autodesk Robot 2021. The two trusts I want to I have uh, picked out for this uh, example are um, Highway Trust and a Fin Trust right here. So uh, they both example in the book, and let's see if we can get the same result using uh, uh, Autodesk Robot. Let's go with this one first, and we go with this one later. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> go ahead and start your uh, robot 2021 and then you can either go new project or you can hit the trust either one is fine so i'll just go with the new one and it brings you back to this page and you end up saying hitting the same trust once you uh, open up a uh, robot 2021 uh, and you come to this page and there's a lot of um, commands here if you go to the okay once we're here we're going to go ahead and um, there's a lot of toolbar and take a look at these and familiarize yourself with it. If you come up all the way to the right, you see right here we have a structure type right there. Click on that one and this will open up. This already have a predetermined library of a typical structure beam frame trusses. So and if you click down here, there are more. However, look at this uh, and uh, make sure you pick an exact uh, shape of the truss. And uh, let me bring this our truss up to the way you want to do right for now. That's one right here. So take a look at it. We have a taper in how we trust right here. And you go up right here and look at your wood diagonal member coming in. This is one fit better. So we're going to click on that one and click OK. Once you click OK, another window opens up. I've got multiple screen. Hold on. I'll bring it over. There it is. And it comes in. And uh, take a look at our problem. And there's our problem. So we want to put these dimension in here. Uh, bottom uh, part L1 is 60 feet, so I'm going to type in right here 60 feet. And then the top part is, uh, top part is uh, basically each bay is 15 and 15 will be 30. So our top part will be 30. And uh, height. Let's find out what the height was. So our height is 20 feet. And it's going to be 20 right there. The next thing is number of field. Number of field is we have one, two, three, four base. So it's four, four field right there. And we're good to go. Everything is OK. Let's click Apply. Don't hit OK yet. Click Apply. And then take a look at it. See, that's what we want. So I'm going to look at the picture right here and look at this. Yeah, it's similar. That's the same thing we're looking for. Great. Now uh, we have this. We can click. We did click Apply. Click OK. And uh, next thing we want to do is uh, go ahead and put uh, support there and take a look at what we have for support one side is a roller and the other side is the pin so uh, you can go in right here uh, see that picture is a picture support click on that and now when you come into a window like that don't be frustrated if you don't have anything it's okay so I'm gonna go ahead with what I have for now and uh, support one deleted support two deleted what well, then deleted Anyway, let's make a new support in case you don't have anything. I want to put a pin here and a roller here. So what do I have to do? Go and click right here. It's a new support definition. And another window opens up. Let me bring it over. This window opens up and right here it will tell you what you need for support. So we learned this. If we have a support system that uh, either you do support in y direction or x direction. And uh, if you want to go ahead and, for example, let's call this one a uh, uh, pin. And uh, that will be basically have a direction on both sides. So now we have a direction on both sides is pin. But if you take one of these away and you click add, and there you have it. And if I want to make a roller, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a new one called the roller. And 
when you have a roller basically you have a support in the bottom vertical direction which is the z direction so take this one out so you only support in one direction and you add and uh, I already have one name roller let me change this name roller B and add and there they are so close this out if you don't have anything that's how you're going to add it so now you go ahead and click on your pin and then you're going to put it right here and that's one support and then there's a roller right here click it right there and there's your roller so now you have your support system done the next thing you're going to go ahead and you're going to add your load so the load we're going to go ahead right here you can do it from this icon right here or this icon you can get to them up here and if i click load right here you can see i have the load tab there and i have the load tab there either way is fine it gets you the same thing so if you click the load type it comes in right here let's put two different load type right here for now uh that load okay close and then we're going to go ahead and put the load on it and you have load definition from here or you can get it from here also load definition so we're going to go to load definition and this window opens up from this window you can see you can have it for node which is our load is kind of node or you could have like uniform load for a bar or uh, or even moment so now let's go with the node and when you click the node notice it's in kip all right and uh, take a look at our uh, problem again and there's our problem so what we're going to go ahead we're going to go ahead and put this load in here 30 kips right on uh, uh, this point here so i'm going to go ahead and see that's going to be in the x direction that's going to be positive 30 so i'm going to type 30 right here and click add and then now you have it and you're going to come in right here click right there this is what it was and there's your load and if you want to see make sure that everything you're doing is correctly come back down here see this is one two three click on that and that will tell you that you have it will uh, give you the uh, uh, label and so you can see it all right now we have another uh, load and these loads are uh, down here we got 40 and 40 and 40 and all the middle one so i'm going to go ahead and uh click down here this is going to be zero of course and we're going to go in a z direction which is a vertical one for us here make sure because the load is going downwards so you're going to put minus 40 and that's minus 40 well that's not that. minus 40 and that skips again click add and i think it was one right here one here and one here and <clears throat> you can see uh, our load now uh, next thing we're going to go ahead and um, close this out apply it and close it out and you can see when you close it out it's gone it's okay if you want to still see it you can bring it back all you have to do come on down here click here and uh, whoop, click here and click the label and there they are okay let's go find the reaction and uh, the reaction and and the uh, um, the forces in each member you're going to go up here call top uh, click on result come down here you can go ahead hit reaction but don't do that yet the better off go this way use the diagram uh, for bars click on that one yes i wanted to run a calculation and it's run a calculation and it tells that we have one warning because of the material that's not a bad thing it's okay so we come up with this window here when you have this window right here take a look at it and you have these tabs up here you want to go all the way to this tab click on reaction right there and you want the reaction show in the fx and also fz in both direction and i like to see a diagram of it and a description so now you're here you click apply don't get out of here yet click apply and there's our reaction it says 70 here 50 and 30. and if we look at the uh, answer that we had I think we still have it on that one and if you look at there right there let me move things around a little bit move that here and you can see our reaction came out as an example in a book 50 30 uh, it says minus 30 right there and 50 uh, 70 right here okay so now we have that um let's go ahead and uh, uh, calculate the uh, forces in each member 
Come back up here where we're here. Go back to this tab right here. Go to NTM. Right there, I'd like to know the forces in each one of them. Click on that. You can click apply here, but we're going to go ahead and click apply again. But And this is where we see. Let's label out see what they are. So I'm come back here, come into the parameter. From the parameter, I want to use a field so I can see it a little better. And then I want to have a differentiator so I know which one is a compression, which one is a, a tension. Click on that, and let's label it so we can see things a little bit better. And now you hit apply, and there it is. And if I we look at the uh, result in the uh, textbook, uh, let's see if we have the same information. Okay, go ahead and start a new project, and we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, try to do the thin tr truss right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click this truss again like last time, and we're going to come up here. Again, make sure you pick a shape that uh, um, uh, fits the shape of the truss that you're looking for. That's very important. This is a fin right where right, and uh, give you this shape. And we're going to go ahead and we get the same icon we had before. And um, let's see if we can fill these out. Um, let me make this small so I can see it. It doesn't help me, does it? Okay. Um, uh oh, we got a problem here. This is in mirror and kilonewton, and here we have uh, feet and uh, kips. So let's to change. It. We gotta change the unit system. Uh, what you gotta do? Go up here to tool and unit and format, or you can go ahead and job preference and both get to the same spot. So let's use the unit and format, and then comes in here in a dimension. I'm gonna go ahead and make feet to a meter. And you got to change all of them. Uh, section dimension, that's going to be millimeter. Uh, section property, let's put it millimeter. And steel connection dimension, millimeter. So I'm going to change all these to inch millimeter and uh, inch square, make it millimeter square. Come on. And uh, crack width, it's going to be millimeter. Once you did all these change, you come down here it says save current parameter as a default. Yes, I want to do it. OK. And then you're going to come back in here. Um, click the uh, tool again. And unit and format. Let's change the forces. And make the kips to kilonewton. And make the kilonewton uh, kip by inch. Make it a kilonewton by uh, You can make it meter or uh, centimeter. That it's a meter is good, and we're not going to use it anyway. So okay, and keep inches square. You can make them keep per meter square. So keep no kilonewton per meter square. Click OK and hit as a default. Yes, okay. And let's uh, cancel this out and do it again. See if they took it. Go for here. Click OK. All right, it's in the other screen. Let me back. Right here. Okay, everything is near. And um, our truss was 12 meter at the bottom. And we gotta figure out the height, and then we gotta figure out number. The bay is three over here is five. So uh, this is gonna be right here, twelve meter. And now you have to calculate the height. Okay, so to calculate the height of the uh, our truss, uh, let's uh, figure out. Uh, we have to do some trigonometry. Let me bring this back in here. Take a look at this. And this is our truss. We know what the height is. We know a lot of dimension, so we're going to use a right triangle. And let's make a right triangle right here. And put that in there. Okay, now we got this right triangle here. We know the angle is 30. We know from here to here is a 6. 
So which one we should we use? You really should go ahead and make sure that you have one unknown and two known in order to solve this. Sin and cosine will not help you because you have the 30. How about tangent? You have the opposite side which we're looking for, we don't know. We have the angle which is 30, so tangent of 30 right here is equal. The opposite which we don't know, divided by a uh, um, side which we know it's 6. So if we do the simple calculation, that means uh, this is equal to uh, 6 multiplied by tangent uh, 30. So we're going to have uh, tangent 30 multiplied by 6. And that comes out to um, 3.464. three point four six so that's what we have okay now we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's get rid of this we're gonna go ahead and put right here three point forty six and the number bay as we know is from the our picture is to make sure we know that is one, two, three section. So this is going to become three section. There we go. And let's click apply, see how it looks. Make it a little bigger. Okay, and we take a look at the picture that we have. It's pretty similar. Yeah, it looks the same. All right, now let's go ahead and put some uh, uh, re Let's apply this, click OK. We're going to go ahead and put the support in it. We already have these figured out, so we're going to go ahead and pin on one, a, one end. That's going to be pinned, and roller is on the other end. That's going to be roller right here. And uh, next, we're going to go ahead and load it. We're going to define our load type first. Uh, let's add to load here. Come on, there we go, close. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, load uh, node load in. And uh, loading was right here. We have 3 kilonewton, 2 and 3. And that's it. So we're going to go ahead and let me see this again. Three, two, three. OK. Here. It's good to have a couple of screens. So uh, we're going to click this and it's going to be minus 3 here. Be careful. You got to be negative. So minus 3. And you notice it's kilonewton right here. Add. And a 3 was for 1 right here, 1 right here. To assure ourselves that's the correct one, you can just click down here so you can see it. Then we have two kilonewton in the middle, so apply this one. And we're going to go to the middle one, so make that minus two. See if I got right, add. And minus two was right down here, and we're good. So we got that, and then we just go ahead and calculate the reaction, see if the re we get the same reaction. Um, Apply, close, and we're going to go back in the result, and let's do this, and then yes, go ahead, calculate it. Yeah, same as before, we got one warning, which is okay. And up here, we're going to go ahead and look at the reaction, and make sure you check the Fx and Fz, uh, both in uh, both direction, and uh, click Apply. Let's put a description in it to check these boxes. There we are. And if you want to see the load right here, you can go ahead and uh, I think we cut it off. There. So our reaction is 4 and 4 and 0, and that's exactly what we have in the textbook. Um, there's the reaction right there, 4 and 4. And now we're going to go ahead and calculate the uh, uh, member forces. And stay right up here and go to NIM 
uh, NTM and then go ahead click the forces you can click apply then we're going to come back in perimeter and go ahead and make it fill and label it and also let's distinguish between compression and tension right there there we go and click apply and there's our uh, uh, numbers and let's take a look at the example in the book see if we got it uh, Uh, if you look at the example, it's the same number as the book. Okay, if this was useful, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, we'll be, uh, uh, this semester we'll be digging into uh, robot more uh, and probably do some frame and do some uh, analysis. And we're going to go ahead and uh, change the uh, member uh, uh, property and uh, uh, the cross-section property and see if we uh, do a complete design.